this is uh this is no joke right here y'all no joke you can't catch a roller on the side or it'll splash into the boat it'll swamp the boat hey Let's get it, son. Let's get it. Doc, bringing them in, baby. Had a boy, Doc. So we're gonna fish it. I'm on. I am on. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yes indeed. We're gonna fish it and we're gonna catch some fish. That's a good one, boys. You're watching Blue Ridge Legacy. Blue Ridge Legacy Where God's blessed you and me To hunt for the big bucks And fish for some trout Go to the on Saturday, really large mouth. Thank you, Lord, for the mountains. I'm so glad I was raised in those mountains. My Blue Ridge legacy. What is up, folks? Out here on Lake Murray, South Carolina, Bassmaster Kayak Series, the first event of the year. And y'all, this is amazing. I can't wait to show you this lake. Look at this beautiful lake. We're down here. There's the dam right over in there. And this is the uh, eastern side of Lake Murray. Wind's blowing about 10 mile an hour today, so we got sailboats out there. And uh, fishing a kayak. And that right there, this would not be any fun. But today's a practice day. Got Chris Phelan. We're checking water temps, folks, because that's important to bass. What we got. 51. 51 degrees. That is a patented Chris Fallon uh, temperature taker. He stole that from some old lady's pool. And uh, he, he has that tied onto his kayak and runs around and drops that down just to get a little bit of a deeper reading on what the water temp is down below the surface. So very genius. Most of my bass fishing technique has been picked up from Chris Phelan. Maybe that's why I suck. Nah. <laughs> nah. I'm getting better. I'm yes. getting better. Guys, today we have, uh, we've rode around a bunch. We did fish at a couple spots this morning and then I had some, some, uh, family emergencies that I wasn't sure. I was thinking I may have to run back home. Um, but uh, now I'm kind of just waiting to find out word, some medical medical situations. Um, but anyhow, so me and Chris have spent this afternoon. We've gone around from different docks. So with kayak series uh, on these big lakes, they have approved places where you can launch from. And so we've picked the list and gone through the list to pick out the, the places we were interested in launching from. And what we did today was we went around in this wind we went around to check on the water clarity and the temperature 
if you don't know much about bass fishing, um, bass will live in crystal clear water. They'll also live in chocolate milk colored water. But it's probably a little bit easier to fish for them as you trend towards that water being clear. Um, I, I don't know. I just feel like that's a little bit easier. But it's definitely the bass get more active the warmer the water gets as far as in that 50 to 60 degree range the closer to 60 degree you get the more active they become now there is a point where that water temperature becomes too high say if water temperatures are in the 80s in the peak of summer uh, you know and even into the low 90s those baths bass become lethargic again um, but you know we're right here we have found water temperatures this week ranging from 48 degrees to 55 degrees so we're trying to find that warm water hoping that those bass are going to be a little more active one thing that i've also learned in my past and i've actually learned this from seeing this guy fish he didn't he's not taught it to me but from watching this guy fish right here uh like up on kentucky lake um that anytime you have some some steady wind that starts to make current happen and wind current on the body of water where you're fishing to try to fish, you know, fish with that wind. And uh, so for example, I'm gonna show you right here. We've got some rock banks that are right over here where the wind is pushing into those rock banks. And this dock is the only dock out here on all of, and it's catching all of this wind. So these bass should be should be coming up and sitting on those areas right there and uh if you use the current guys use the current for bass fishing it's going to be a big help um is there any type of dock that you look for chris that you you'd say hey this is you know uh, as, as far as docks go you want to look for newer docks are not not key you want to look for docks that have been there for a while because yeah. those fish and bait fish are more attracted to the aquatic vegetation that grows on on older docks so if yeah, it's a newer dock sense. so you want to fish older docks and what about pilings or, or you like do you I, like floating docks or? i like pilings yeah myself. pilings depends yeah. on you know the style of fishing you do uh, if you're flipping flipping a jig crankbaits those kind of things you want to use i would rather use pilings yeah but if you're using like finesse style i would rather have the plastics okay because you can flip a plastic bait and it's going to flutter underneath those plastics i got plastic you docks okay be better okay and the windblown bank you know it, if you if anybody knows about river fishing current fish always face toward the current so when you river fish you you cast above those fish and you're bringing it back down to their face yeah do the same thing on a lake you cast into the bank and bringing it back towards their face because they're going to be facing the current to yeah. catch the food coming toward them so yeah. you, you're gonna a lot of times you put your back to where the wind's blowing in and do 45 degree cast fan cast out from where you're sitting and that's where you're going to get most of your bites or parallel to the bank also too one thing that you can also look for is if you're fishing a body of water and the wind is i'm talking like really pushing uh, that water around sometimes you can get on the lee side of a point or maybe the protected side of a point and they may be staged up right in there i'm about to show you an example right here so for example of a lee side well you can see you can see the white caps right over in there where the wind is pushing that water right up against those rocks and it's splashed over those rocks but as you follow down right there at those rocks you see right there Side of that, or that point will be the lee side or the protected side from that wind current, and there may be a good possibility that there's some bass staying up right there. So, you know, hopefully, these will give you some things to look for. Uh, you know, these are not things that I had picked up on my own. I've bought, I've watched great fishermen like Chris Phelan, uh, my buddy Chad Silver, several other guys that I fish with, uh, of course, Doc. Um, you know, I've, I've started seeing how they fish things and dirt, different circumstances, you have to employ different tactics. Um, but hey, as my buddy, my buddy Steven Kidd says, you can't catch him on the couch. So, uh, you know, any day of fishing, you stand a chance of catching fish. Uh, but there are some things you can do.
do that's going to help you to catch more fish and bigger fish. Oh yeah boys, I hope this is on here. Just hooked up on the old shaky head. All right guys, just caught a 15 and a half incher on a shaky head. So, day's not done yet. I am running out of time, but the day is not done yet. Oh, what's this? What's this? I caught it right here under this bridge. They're not in here for the shade. The wind is pushing them in here, I guess pushing bait fish, so they're they're eating in here. Well, that one was eating. I really would love to catch a giant. Had him hooked in the corner of the mouth really well. He did not hit it hard, but I set the hook hard. All right, guys, I caught I caught one fish for day one. Uh, it was a decent fish. I mean, it wasn't a dink, so I was happy for that. And I'm happy to catch a fish. Um, sorry for the camera work here. I'm trying to make it back to the boat ramp, and this is just a nightmare. But uh, one fish. I think Hank got him a limit. I don't know how many inches he's at. He's probably somewhere in the ballpark of 80 inches, so he should be in the game tomorrow. Um, I'm fishing tomorrow regardless, just because I'm on a PB hunt while I'm down here. Uh, but I, I have no chance of winning this tournament uh, or even placing in this tournament with only having caught one keeper today. Um, but Hank is definitely... If he has a good day tomorrow and everybody else has a pretty bad day, um, he could walk away with it. So, anyhow, let's get him, Doc. But uh, hopefully I will live to tell another story and make another film. I'm almost to the boat ramp, so here I go. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you later. Guys, I am trying to make it back to the boat ramp. And this is only 15 mile an hour winds. And it is absolute sketchy. It's white capping. I've, the boat ramp is not far away. It's right up here. But this is, uh, this is no joke right here, y'all. No joke. You can't catch a roller on the side or it'll splash into the boat and swamp the boat. guys last morning of the tournament we started late because we're not in the running for the money we had to pack up camp and uh, then we went to Waffle House and got breakfast um, we're at a new spot on the lake we're just out here fun fishing today which any day of fishing is fun fishing so old Doc's in it he's He's making a run at some money, and uh, we're hoping he can get it done. 
We're cheering him on. I got to see him pull a fish in this morning uh, while at the campsite. So I've thrown a, a, a Nomad vibe uh, so far, and now I'm putting a, a shaky head in. You can see these that little dock with the rock wall. There's a, another rock wall coming out right here. These are good little current breaks. The current is pushing me back into this pocket. Um, I don't know that this is the place to be, but I mean, this, this looks pretty good. So, we're going to fish it. I'm on. I am on. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yes, indeed. We're going to fish it. And we're gonna catch some fish. That's a good one, boys. Look at that. My hook came right out right there. Man, that's fun. That's fun. I thought that looked like a good spot for a bass to lay. I might be able to catch five or six here. I don't know, I say that without having full confidence but we're gonna give it a run for the money though not for the money in this tournament but we... who knows man we could maybe wind up catching a big fish that's a three pounder y'all 17 and a quarter. Oh yeah. I am thrilled with that fatty right there now. All right, bud. Back in you go. That may be a small mouth. Good fish, good fish. Yeah, let's go, baby. That's a good one, though. Not a great one, but it's going to measure. I will take it. Y'all, I've sat here for probably 10 minutes with the shaky head on this dock. And that was the third cast into that spot right there. So all that to say, sometimes when the fishing's really slow, just stick it out. I mean, I'm not thinking I've got this figured out, but 
I think I was moving too fast uh, for for doing what I was doing and uh, anyhow I'm gonna let them get a little bit of water yes yes Oh yeah. All right. All right, folks. We are wrapping it up here from uh, the Bassmaster Kayak Series event number one here on Lake Murray. And the big fella here had a pretty good day today and a terrible day yesterday. So, um, but I'm hoping we still make top hundred. We've Where? got <laughs> Hank Newsom. He's gonna be. He's. He may be in the money. He may be in the money. I'm saying. We'll see. It's gonna be but, close. It's gonna be close. Yes. I bet he's been. I bet that was the most nervous ride to the to yeah. the way in. Last hour of fishing is miserable. Yeah. Trying to catch one to put me in the money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So we don't know. They turn off the standings, the the leaderboard. They turn it off about an hour before it lines out on this last day to kind of keep everybody in suspense, make it a little more exciting. But thanks so much for watching. We're going to let you see the results here and uh, tune in next time. We'll see you. 17th place, taking home $607 from North Carolina, Hank Newsom. Yeah, Doc. Yeah, Doc. Blue Ridge Legacy Where God's blessed you and me To hunt for the big bucks and Saturday, really large mouth. Thank you, Lord, for the mountains. I'm so glad I was raised in these mountains, my Blue Ridge legacy.